Yo, what up, guys? Beside you here with an update on the Noob to Pro, a brand new account which is on day 32 right here, and it is going for this Emic the Trunk Heart Fusion. Never before done, probably, that a new account this new is going for an old school fusion like this mixed with a fragrant fusion. But hey, we are going for it, and we already decided. I'm here to go over my prep plan again that's what you have to do this period before the fusion launch keep planning keep planning keep making sure your plans are going accordingly and then what thing i want to bring your attention to today it's in terms of the champions that will be available for this fusion so the champions available right now is an epic champion if you see it in an in-game news if you missed it out go to your news you can see right here epic drunkard fusion event has been announced officially and we see four champions that are the same the epic champions are the same so you will need to get copies of these epic champions from the fragments that will be doing right so what this tells us immediately that this champion will need to farm this particular um potion keep a lot a lot when i mean a lot you need to farm this potion keep to get all these potions ready so what potion keep should you be farming that's the information i just wanted to give out in this video for those who do not know yet she is a force affinity champion right here released in the raid um, forum right here you can see her name is Firan ron isbel that's fire fire gone fire gone isbel i don't know but basically she's a um, dwarf affinity fact faction champion and i'm only right now interested in her affinity which is force which is gonna guide us on what dungeon to farm before she joins the game so how many potions would you need to fuse four copies of this champion what are at four or five stars you need to take her to five stars there's a tool that was released a while ago by um cold brew and if I should check my browser right here, I can see Cold Brew Google Sheet. This sheet will tell you how many champions you need to, um, how many um, potions you need to basically get to complete this fusion. If I should make it a little bit bigger, smaller. Let me bring it to this side. Hold on. Uh oh. There you go. So this tool was released by Cold Brew and I still use it until today and right there if you type exactly how many um epics that's four epics force zero void and it tells you the exact how many greater force potions you need which is 80 right here and 24 superior force potions that's what you need to make all these four star um champions available and ready to five star 50 and all that the energy you use to fuse all that is not counted but basically 80 and 24 is what how many potion force potions you need to be farming right now why do i say right now because during the fusion you might have few more resources few more um chances to farm this force potion you'll be so in engrossed with a lot of things that will be happening during the fusion so in order not to be caught off guard this is one thing that will make people fail the fusion well you can always open the keeps with with um, gems right and get it done but it's better to spend your energy right now on this or you're spending the, your energy on campaign those are the two areas right now campaign or the first keep if you're not yet um, ready for all the champions that you need to take to um, the three star the four stars there you need to prep for this champion so that's the information i wanted to share right here in this video 80 and 24 greater and superior then if you scroll over to the arcane keep record you can see it's still 60 and 12 like we already discussed before in a previous video is the to pro ready with all these resources no so if you see my game right here i'm currently above the energy cap because i claimed some energy which was going to expire and i intend to use it right now to farm the potion keep because i don't want to be caught off guard if i head over to my tavern you see for ascensions potion mixer you see we are currently at 109 and 15 we only need we only need um how many 80 of this and we are both cap right here so that's two more right here so we have 17 greater no we have 17 superior 17 superior if i'm counting that and then just how many more 24 right so just five more i think five more or six more will get me where i need to be 
five months, six months superior will get me where I need to be. And that's easy for us to farm. I'm currently beating the first keep, which is open right now. I say right now because it's open. <laughs> I was surprised to see the first keep open when this is happening. So I could beat level 16 on auto. If I go to go up to 17, it might become a little bit difficult or my main champions will begin to die but i've not attempted 17 i've not failed yet so i'm waiting for maybe artifact announcement during the fusion will help us level up all those champions better to begin to beat higher levels but for now i'm finding farming it at um, 14 and it's i'm 16 and it's consistent enough to you know give us that greater six more greater that we need right here all right, that's this information that I wanted to share for newer players who do not know what to do right now with their energy when they are preparing for a fusion like this. Get those potions ready and now you know the exact number of potions you need based on this news that was released right here in the game to see how many champions we need. It's not void, it's not spirit, it's not magic. It is all force champions and that's how much how many potions you need to get ready for that. All right, as part of that information, we can see that in-game now i want to give another <laughs> little bit of a tip for those players who definitely know they cannot do this fusion because i know everybody's prepping for the fusion but those they are those who have already given up before the fusion even started so what do i mean if i switch over to the in-game news right here we can take a look at this champion and see if it's something you want a copy of for yourself to hold on to if she's good enough right that's one other talk i wanted to ex also explore on her a1 she attacks one enemy she's force affinity she has attack base not defense or hp base she's attack base from the draws faction maybe that's something you need for your faction wars so if you're not going for the fusion can you should you go for this champion or sh of course but would you be something you want to actually use build that's what i wanted to find out a1 50 percent chance to of decreasing the duration of a bomb debuff so she has a lot to do with bombs from my a1 you can already tell a lot of her skills will have something to do with the bomb right so if she decreases the duration of bombs debuffs that means she will make the bomb explode faster even if she doesn't place it right also has a 25 percent chance of placing bomb debuff on a random enemy for one turn so random enemy so it's not just the person she's hitting with the a1 it's the bomb debuff will go to somebody random instantly detonate the dumb bomb debuff placed on that random enemy that's actually this is actually an a1 that is useful she just goes in there with her a1 she hits somebody and then bomb explodes on somebody else who gets it that's a 25 percent chance it cannot be improved with books that means it will stay a 25 percent chance Ooh, that's harsh all bomb debuffs placed by this skill on enemies whose max hp is higher than 200 okay will do 20 percent more damage so they are building up sort of like for boss for boss we still don't use bombs against any boss in raid besides boomer right i don't i don't even use bombs on boomer so they are saying this champion will be good for boomer i guess damn that's a, a one that is useful only in that content where you need bombs against the bosses we don't even use bombs that much in pvp but it's still a, a useful one on the A2, she attacks one enemy two times. First hit has a 75% chance of placing two bomb debuffs. Still not an AoE, still a ta single target hit right here to play two bomb debuffs. This one can be booked up to be a 100% chance of landing buffs on one enemy. Still something that you can go use for bosses, right? And this one has increases the damage by 50% if the enemy has more than 200k HP. That's amazing. The second hit... 55% chance can be increased, of course, to up to 80 of applying a debuff spread effect. Taking one bomb, just one. Why not the two? You place two. Why are you taking one? So you spread only one bomb. But why you place two on all enemies? All right. I guess that's still not something we're going to be using in PvE content. No, we don't want to be spreading bombs. We want to place bombs on everybody. All right, on the A3, this attacks all enemies, 75% chance of placing Weaken because Weaken does in the increase the damage that bombs do on the enemies. So that's a Weaken for two turns, grants an extra turn if the Weaken was placed on all enemies. So if this is against boss, it's going to definitely be placed based on affinity, of course, hoping that you don't get 3 presented. That's a 100% Weaken and an extra turn. So you place the Weaken before you go in with the A2. So... Will I think this is a champion that people will use immediately to get her? No. 
if this is a champion that will begin to use for a special niche team like Boomal or any other content in the future that bombs will do a lot of damage on, maybe yes. So you may probably want to pair this champion with somebody else who already places bombs because obviously she doesn't place enough bombs to be doing crazy damage. So and she doesn't detonate all bombs or anything, she just detonates that one bomb that she places while she decreases the duration of a bomb debuff on the enemy for one turn. She has a revive on death on herself for two turns when an enemy dies from a bomb debuff. So if they die, why are you reviving? <laughs> why are you placing revive on death on yourself? Six turn cooldown cannot be increased. Aura accuracy in all battles. So this is a champion that is going to be having a niche use. So for those who are not going for the fusion at all, if you get her by mistake, fine. But should it be something that you definitely going crazy for? I don't think this is it. They should have just made a support champion that everybody can use but hey they are still trying their best to make bombs viable in a lot of content not just boomer right they are trying this is an, another attempt and unfortunately i don't think this will be working for a lot of players who still don't use bombs in the team i have like four three champions who do aoe bombs and i still don't boot them not even um this other rat king rat king is still chilling in my vault built yet but not being featured in my team because bombs is just not the way to go i still do boomer with my old fashion and um, double vogot and what what way do i even kill him is it poisons forget how i <laughs> take down boomer but either i solo him with my urost or so any way possible i don't i don't want to build a bomb team for now so let them try somebody else something else to make bombs viable they are trying with this 200 percent damage then 200k 50 percent damage and 200 percent damage but still not enough so that's this champion still not is bell if you want to go for her go ahead but i'm not gonna be trying to well if we fail the fusion we'll have no choice but to have four copies of her i guess so we are trying all our best not to fail the fusion so how is your fusion prep going i love to know because as you can see one every red dot everywhere i keep pointing it out cvc has started this is another place for us to get some awesome rewards right here from the clan rewards check out check out energy energy so for those who are saying you might not have enough energy to do dragon campaign do energy is falling from everywhere i I can't remember the last time I had so much energy coming into account. If I was claim, if I was to claim all this energy right now, I'd probably be up to three thousand. If you can see this red dot right here, it's not because there's an event or something I've not claimed. It's Plarium points even giving off two hundred and fifty energy right here. Do not claim it. Hold on. We still have two more days to go. This is the first of August, Happy New Month, and then we are waiting for the third of August before all the craziness starts. So this is still the calm before everything goes crazy. So. That's 250 energy coming right here. And if I just go through, you've seen the one in Clan versus Clan. Even we have some energy coming in from the monthly quest that I almost clicked it. I almost clicked it. <laughs> and then some energy <laughs> right here. I don't want to go above cap. I just did advanced quest. And let's see a little bit more from the all the um I'm not pushing for this spider. I'm not pushing for the ice golem that is going on on this noob to pro. We are spending all our energy right now getting force potions to 24 and 80. And we have enough arcane potions already. Well, I think I have three three more arcane potions to farm for superior ones. And we are still saving up all this energy that is coming up right here. Oh, we did finish classic arena, of course. And we'll get some rewards from this one and this one. We're not picking up the energy. We're letting that sit and i also did finish tag team arena tag arena well i almost did i got the ancient shard which is adding to the number of shards we need to pull and i got third place i would have preferred to be down here in fourth place and got 75 gems though i didn't look at it in time else i'll push the top guy and got that epic skill tone but it's all good we can claim that one while we hold on to this 200 and 300 energy so that's all the fusion prep um there's a fusion warm-up event i hope i've upgraded just upgraded an artifacts to or i've grouped three artifacts to four 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 and i take or i take one artifact to eight or twelve i forget which one and i get the required number of points to complete this fusion warm-up i've not done it today though i will do it and we are running a little bit behind but we will get it done soon and champion training ended did we get anything from it or did we need to get anything from anything from it i think one energy is right there that we needed to pick up my game is not loading i don't know why 
but anyways that's this information i wanted to share with you guys let you guys know the number of potions to farm and all the fusion prep that we are still catching up on mm, for shards i've not added any number of shards anymore still 2 8 and 44 fragments i'm still getting closer to that huntress and blood horn yes i've picked up 10 10 fragments for each today in three more days we're getting closer to 90 yeah two more days we'll be closing to that to 80 and 70 while the few can be completed any other ways and then we have to actually let check out our broadmoor res 30 30 30 30 so i'm gonna farm, get two copies of this dude i'm just making sure i've gotten it so two copies of this dude rock beast can i get two copies of this one two three three one more of this dude and i'll be able to get three copies of albasta champion chase i'm looking for ways to get champion chase points and finally get also a broadmoor in that fusion what about rally keeper why is rally keeper fusion looking yeah we got everybody ready at 30 30 29 30. i i got this one but i will not be going for any copies of war maiden or this one so that's all this information that is going on right now there is nothing else happening in raid beside clan versus clan which will be taking it slow taking it steady and of course complete it hopefully we don't have an enemy who is pushing hard so that's good news for us we'll slowly get there what about silver since i'm spending some energy today to get that first keep once that first keep is done i will spend the rest of my energy on silver tomorrow and i'll be at 10 million hopefully six seven million maybe by tomorrow but today it's all about first keep get those number of potions ready before we go back to the campaign and start farming the campaign maybe while you're farming the campaign you can still be helping your clan towards getting some cvc points while you're farming stage three and sell all this silver i do have some stuff to sell though because I've been farming and keeping it to see if I can level it up. Where is it? See, I do have a lot to sell. Probably be at 4 million silver by the time I sell all this. I was just checking to see if I'll get some 5 star that I do not want to sell. So if I should select this and hit that sell all button. Sell all. Hold on to some of these things when I want to check their sub stats. And I'll hold on to these 5 stars. Because I want to take them to 4 before i sell them that's the only reason why i did not automatically sell these five stars now all the four stars can be sold so that's what i'm doing for campaign i'm not selling five stars even if i will eventually sell it i'll wait for champion training to get it to a little bit of four level four all helping me towards getting that champion training points so little tips here and there we'll get this fusion done i've seen some people express some doubt whether the noob pro can do this with the number of shots we have or with the number of energy that is required i understand your doubts you don't know um what it's possible when you put your mind to it right anything is possible yes a fusion is possible in the first month and to end this video i'll go over there and get attacks perfect so right i've not even unlocked it because we did get it from that event right we did get it awaken let's awaken attack from his slumber and get him our two star perfect soul so i'll not do the blessing right now i'll let you guys comment which blessing you think will be perfect for attack in a new account like this i know a lot of people will rush to say brimstone and uh, it's not somebody i hope to be go crazy in the arena take note so soul rip is out of the way so it's either brimstone blessing or where yeah, is this other one pull him off so polymorph is a lot more pvp so it's probably gonna be brimstone who am i kidding come on it's gonna be brimstone he already has enough accurate to land that hp bone so we might as well we want to go crazy against the bosses and beat level 20 content when this fusion starts i did try to push level let me show you what just one update about the dungeons because we're trying to get to level 20 but my gear is not leveled yet so i'm not pushing yet i tried level 17 and i failed so maybe attack will get it better but yeah when we get this all this gear of this champion maxed out because everybody's sitting at 15 15 um not yet done even kill doesn't have his gear fully but well, he did it for i did it for kill but let me end it right here guys how's your fusion update going i mean your fusion prep going talk more about more other things that are going on in the game later for now i'm just focused on getting this first keep done and i'll end the video on that note later guys don't forget to like and subscribe and good luck to all of you prepping for the fusion i did pick up the updates the um what do you call this now 
the call of Arbiter is ending in 24 hours. So if you've not gone over there, if you're playing on iPhone and claim that double rewards, go ahead and do it. I get, get some a lot of energy. I didn't show you the inbox. A lot of energy over 15 pages or 15 rows of just energy right here sitting in the inbox. We're going to get this done later, guys.